So good afternoon. Uh, this is uh, my name is Yolande Poirier from Oracle Technology Network, and uh, we are here at uh, uh, JFrog Sampop uh, in Napa. And my guest right now is uh, Patrick Wolf. Patrick, hi. Hello. How's it going? Good. Very good. So, um, so what do you do? Um, I am a uh, director of product management at CloudBees, focused on uh, the Jenkins open source product and the, the new pipeline features that we're building in for that. Um, so I'm here prepared today to talk about how to use Jenkins pipeline with Artifactory. Okay, so you talk, yeah, so you talk is about Jenkins. So what, what's, uh, what's your talk about? Um, I presented earlier this morning about how to use, um, well, how Jenkins is growing and used for more and more teams for doing continuous delivery as well as just um, continuous integration, especially with the, the Jenkins pipeline and our new declarative syntax for that to quickly and easily build a continuous delivery pipeline to create uh, war files for your Java programs and then build containers off of top of that and deploy those out to Artifactory. So you also talk about uh, Blue Ocean, so what, what is that? So Blue Ocean is something we've been developing in concert with uh, Pipeline as a new interface for Jenkins. Jenkins is an old product, it's been around for 11 years, so the, the UI is a little dated. Um, it's, it's functional, but it's just not very modernized. So Blue Ocean is our first attempt to modernize the Jenkins user interface, focused specifically on pipelines and the visualization and creation of continuous delivery pipelines to make it much easier for the new breed of users coming in that haven't dealt with Jenkins before, they, they could be new to continuous delivery, and just kind of to democratize the whole continuous delivery process and building that on, on top of Jenkins. So it's it's a lot about like files and files format. Is that uh, am I right? Um, well, pipeline is is about creating the files and building that, and, and Blue Ocean is about just visualizing the process of all the stages that goes through from the time a commit comes in to it's built to where it gets stored in Artifactory and then eventually gets deployed either to um, one of the cloud providers or gets stored in, in bin tray um, for consumption by someone else to be to be the final endpoint for that. So Blue Ocean shows you that end-to-end -end, uh, workflow for how uh, where your code is and, and how it got there. So any uh, any special tips that you have, like when people uh, use uh, Jenkins and uh, Blue Ocean? Um, I just to uh, keep it simple as much as possible. First, don't try to get too complex because um, you know don't boil the ocean as much as you can, and just get out there and, and um, you know play around with it and participate in the Jenkins community as much as possible. It's it's a community of 150,000 installations across the world and the more people that, that contribute to emails and IRC and, and, and just commit code back, the better the product's going to be. Okay. So, and yeah, anything else you want to share about DevOps and uh, that you had in your, conf in, uh, in your presentation? Um, nothing I can think of really off the top of my head more than just the, uh, you know, it's, it's great to be here at Swamp Up. I think this is a great event and uh, definitely finding a lot of interesting people to talk to about DevOps while we're here. So it's been a very focused conference and I'm, I'm really happy to see that. Cool. Well, thank you for um, taking the time and talking to us. So thank you, Patrick. Thanks for having me.